Hello America, we're coming live from the quarantine. This is Leanne. Okay, no, that's not it. Let's get for real. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad that you clicked on my video. And since you did that, you might as well click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Um, today is going to be a quick and easy video. And as you can see by the title, this is my final review for the Bodies by Rachel 28 Day Shred Workout and Diet Program. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so if you are new and this is your first video you're watching for My Bodies by Rachel, um, I do have two other videos on this program and I will link them in the description box or add them in the cards or something, but they'll be somewhere in this video that you can go watch those videos as well um, just to get my initial thoughts before you, you know, before I got to this point, okay? <laughs> it was a little journey. But yeah, I do have... Um, a few thoughts on the program and I do have some notes on my phone just because I just wanted to make sure that I touched on the things that really stood out for me um, so for starters I think I said this in one of my previous videos um, for the diet plan the meal plan is um, cut out for the three different body types which is like the ectomorph endomorph and mesomorph maybe I'll put it down here so you guys can see um i am a ectomorph i believe i believe um and that diet plan called for 1500 calories a day um i believe the macros were like 150 grams of protein 110 of carbs and like 60 of fat or something i'll put that information in as well because i'm pretty sure it's not 100 accurate but that's pretty much what it was um as i stated previously in my other video 1500 calories a day is a lot for me to eat um when i'm not on a diet plan i typically eat probably between 1000 to 1200 calories a day um I could, I'm one of those people like I could not eat all day I could go from the time that I wake up to about 5 to 6 p.m. and not eat sometimes and then when I do eat it'll be one meal so that's a lot of food for me personally um, also the carbohydrates were a lot for me as well I have a very 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 slow metabolism and I am a body type that when I eat a lot of carbs, I carry it. It takes a long time for me to burn it off. Like carbs are just not my thing, okay? So for me, I had to adjust a meal plan to 1200 calories a day. And then I also lowered my carb intake. So I just kind of went in on my fitness pal to kind of play around with the macros. Um, just to kind of see like how much I would be taking in per day. Um, let me see, hold on one second. Okay, so my carb intake, well what my macros are in my fitness pal right now are 23% carbs, 20% fat, and 30, okay, that's wrong. My goals, I'm sorry. My goals in my fitness pal, the carbs are 29%, the fat is 36% and then the protein is 35%. That is just the macros. But typically what I have been eating actually equals out to my protein being 57%, my fat being 20%, and the carbohydrates being 23%. Um, I'm no dietitian, no nutritionist, whatever. So I don't know how um, good or bad that is for my body. But the food that I'm eating is not bad food at all it's all still clean eating um it's just very very high protein and trying to keep everything else low so um with that being said i feel like the first one to two weeks of the program i didn't see a whole lot of progress in terms of uh not feeling bloated or looking bloated um on a daily basis because i was still eating pretty much like the type of food that was on 
the Bodies by Rachel diet plan. Like I was still eating those macros. Once I changed the macros to kind of fit me and what I can handle, you know, from what I know from myself and my 28 years of life, I feel like that did a better job at showing me results, um, especially in my midsection, in my stomach area, because that's pretty much where the bulk of my issue is. Um, so yeah, once I actually like kind of conformed the diet plan to fit me and what I like to eat for one um and then the things that I know that work well for me and my body I feel like it I feel like it was more beneficial for me I don't know what that was um so yeah that's number one um the second thing is the workout so the workout plans are supposed to be done six times a week. For the most part, I only got to the fifth workout um, only because I, I had other things to do. I have a life, I'm lazy sometimes, whatever the case may be. Um, and I feel like it still worked pretty well, pretty, pretty well for me. Um, all of the hit work, all of the workouts are either hit workouts or you're doing or you're doing like a, a supersets. Um, and they do have list cardio two times a week. And I believe you do those with your superset workouts. And then you do the car the hit three times a week. Um, for me, I did additional cardio pretty much every time I did the workout with Bodies by Rachel. So obviously there was a list cardio two times a week. And I would do those because they're automatically in the plan. But even with my hit workout, I still would do some type of additional cardio so for instance on the hit workout days i might do like a um, uphill incline walk or i would get on um i would do a spin class one day um i would do whatever like a elliptical whatever like i would do something for the minimum of 30 to 35 minutes um i think the longest that i did it would probably be like 45 minutes and then i would go on and do the hit workout um again it's not something that you have to do but for me I know that for my body type, when I'm trying to really get in shape and lose weight, cardio works for me. And obviously, I know that HIIT workouts are cardio workouts, but I feel like for the most part, when I'm doing HIIT workouts, I'm only burning max, maybe like 350 calories. And that just, I don't know, the number just doesn't sit well with me. So I always did some type of additional cardio, no matter what. Whenever I did this workout program, I always did an additional form of cardio it might not have been like super extensive but i did something in addition to what they were telling me to do as well um a lot of the workouts are very lower body um now obviously they have like upper body days you work your back you work your shoulders your arms and everything but every single day you're going to feel the burn in your legs period point blank so that's just one thing i just want to get out there like if you know the bodies by richard girls you know they have very like thick and defined legs nice plump booties like and i feel like pretty much all of their workouts are designed to still give you some type of like extra thigh and booty yes okay they're all very bottom heavy all right which i'm not mad at because i want to grow my butt so I love having thick thighs. I've always pretty much had thicker legs. They weren't, they ain't defined, but they always been a little bit thicker. And I like that. I, I think it's cute for me. It's, I like it. I'm not mad at it. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, the next thing, oh, the next thing about the workouts is that I do feel like there is a nice variation of workouts. So it's not like you're doing the same hit workout every single day, the same supersets every single day or, or even every single week. Um, I feel like the program does a really good job of switching it up. Um, and once you get into week three and four, I feel like they definitely took it up a notch and it, it got a little harder. Um, they were adding in different types of workouts. So I like that because obviously it keeps it interesting. You know, you're not bored, like doing the same stuff every single day. So that for sure was something that I really do like about the program. Um, I also noticed one, one major thing, which I feel like um, no matter the amount of weight that I lost or didn't lose, this is 
very beneficial for me because like I said earlier in this video, I have a very, very slow metabolism. I always have. So with this program, by week three, I started to notice that my body was processing food faster. So usually if I ate breakfast and all I had was maybe like some eggs and two pieces of bacon and some fruit, I would look like I just had six pizzas by myself, like six large pizzas with two sides of breadsticks and 14 pops. Like I just, I bloat very easily. I hold on to weight very easily. And I don't, my metabolism is very slow. But with this program, by week three, I realized that like, I would eat my breakfast or in my lunch or whatever. And you know, in the middle of the day, towards the end of the day, there wasn't any bloating. Obviously, I, you can still tell that my starting weight from in the morning, my stomach wasn't, it was flatter in the morning versus when I ate, like obvious, that's just for anybody. But like, in terms of bloating, I didn't have that issue anymore so that's something that i really really like about this program was that i could tell that it was starting to speed up my metabolism and my body was keeping up with what i was eating and processing it and i wasn't holding on to it all day like i usually do so that for me no matter what is a plus because i need that ain't nobody trying to be eating salads all day but go to bed looking like they didn't have 35 cheeseburgers like I was just in a cheeseburger eating contest or something. Okay, so yeah, that for sure is something that I, I love about this program um, And the last thing that I would say that I really really love and my last point about this program is The booty growth, okay I have been working on my, my trying to get my butt to get plump and get bigger for a while I've always had no cakes like cheeks nothing there's I'll, i've always been a girl where dudes like they date me and they be like <laughs> but you ain't got no butt though like it's never stopped me from getting niggas like i could i could get a man but he gonna be like baby your butt little and i'm like i know like my butt was little when you met me and you were still trying to holler so what's up but personally i've always wanted to have something you know something to grab onto and i feel like with this program since it is bottom heavy with the workouts it definitely definitely improved my the shape of my butt and the the growth like it's starting to come into play i'm gonna put a picture either here or here so y'all can see like a before and after if i can find a, a, a actual after picture i mean a before picture i'll add it i've looked before because i do want to see the progress but because i never had a butt I didn't have a reason to take pictures of my butt, if that makes sense. So um, I'll try and find one and insert a, a before too, but I'll definitely put it after so y'all can see what my booty looking like right now. Cause I think it got, it's a little plump, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, I'll um, put a picture in here so y'all can see. But yeah, it definitely, definitely, definitely is making my butt grow. And you can definitely see the I can see the difference because obviously it's my body but I can see the difference and that is something that I thoroughly enjoy and thoroughly love um, overall I would give this program I'll give it like a seven and a half out of ten because I feel like it's a starter program like it's a program that's just kind of like just to kickstart your workout journey and obviously they have like other programs that are longer. I think they have one that are like eight weeks, 16 weeks. Um, and they have like those programs, they have um, a thing where they like actually go through and talk to you so they can get like an actual diet plan that's specific for you and your body and your and what you wanna eat and everything. Like they go through all of that. Um, and they, they don't do that with this program. This program is just kind of like you get what you get. Um, but I feel like it's a great starter program um, I don't know about long-term program, but I feel like it's a great starter program if you want to just kind of like get in there, test the waters and see. Um, I believe it was only like $50, maybe $60 um, for the ebook that comes with everything. But yeah, overall, I feel like it's not bad at all. I feel like it's worth the money because obviously you can keep the workouts, you can keep the food, the food plan and keep on doing it um, until you get the results that you want. Um, or you can 
by this program and then hop onto another one of their programs. Um, yeah, so overall, I give it a seven and a half out of 10. I feel like it's definitely worth the money. I feel like you can definitely see results. Um, oh, I didn't tell you guys, sorry. So when I first started this program this time, I weighed 144 pounds. At the end of the program, I weighed between 137 and 136. Um, and I will put before and after, but obviously it's in a thumbnail as well. Um, sorry, I don't have better before and after pictures. Like I just am not somebody who takes pictures of myself um, when I'm uncomfortable with my body. So the before pictures, I really don't have a lot of. And then the after is just like, I always would take pictures when I was just randomly thinking about it. Um, and not like actually like focused on like, let me get a good before and after, but yeah. I'll post a before and after picture um y'all y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments um if you can see a difference i definitely can see a difference but obviously it's my body so i should be able to see a difference but um, let me know in the comments if you see a difference let me know in the comments if you try any of the bodies by rachel programs whether it's this one the train like me the booty the bikini um the eight week program let, let me know let me let me know how you liked it let me know if the diet plan worked for you or if you had to make adjustments as well. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, but I'm probably just gonna keep doing it how I've been doing it. Just, you know, still doing my own cardio, um, incorporated with their cardio and eating the stuff that I know works for me. So yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye.